Hi there! Have you heard about resistant starch? Do you know it is considered to behave as a fiber in our body and can be found in foods such as green banana and legumes? Stay with us to learn more about it today. In today's video, Food for All Knowledge will talk about resistant starch and its benefits for health. Resistant starch is a portion of starch present in food that doesn't get digested in the small intestine, and it is considered to act like fiber in our system. There is a lot to say about fiber, and this can be a topic for another video. We'll just comment here that fibers and complex carbohydrates help in the movement of material in the digestive system and help to slow down the rise in blood glucose and insulin. Starch is a type of carbohydrate. There are rapidly and slowly digestible starches, and these get digested faster than resistant starch, which doesn't get digested in the small intestine going almost intact to the large intestine, which we will talk about in a bit. The rate at which starches get digested is correlated to the glycemic index, which is a relative measure of how fast carbohydrates are digested and transformed into glucose, that then goes into the bloodstream. And this is also related to rise in insulin levels. So, how does glycemic index, also referred to as GI, correlate to rising blood glucose? This graphic is a representation of the increase in blood glucose over time after the ingestion of food. Foods with high GI promote a higher peak of blood glucose and insulin, while foods with low GI, such as whole foods and those containing fiber and resistant starch, allow for a lower and more gradual variation in blood glucose, which is beneficial to our system. The ratio of resistant starch to other starches present in food can be correlated to GI. There are different types of resistant starch, but we will not go in depth into that in this video. So, what are some of the main benefits of foods that contain resistant starch? There are several, but the main ones we are discussing in this video are they have low GI, as we've talked about, and they are very good for gut health. Remember we said that resistant starch doesn't get digested in the small intestine? It goes into the large intestine where it feeds beneficial microflora. There is more to discuss about the role of resistant starch in gut health, and if you'd like us to talk more about it, please let us know in the comment box below and we can make another video with more details on this. And what about food sources? Which foods can we eat to include more resistant starch in our diet? Some foods that contain resistant starch are oats, legumes like lentils, peas, beans and chickpeas, green banana, as well as rice. And this is affected by cooking and cooling as well. I want to make a comment here because there have been some controversies about this. Actually, this is not a myth. We have the science alert here in these slides, so you know there are studies that explain what happens and we'll leave the link to the reference in the description box below. It is interesting that starchy foods can have their starch composition changed depending on how they are cooked and stored. Levels of resistant starch in rice, for example, have been shown to increase when they are cooked, then cooled. What happens is that not all the starch turns into resistant starch, but part of it does, and had a significant impact in lowering blood glucose as compared to eating a freshly cooked warm rice. Check the study for more details. So, next time you eat rice after storing it in the fridge, remember that you will most probably eat more resistant starch that way. We would like to say that the content we share here is intended for informational purposes and that it is important to always consult with your healthcare practitioner about your eating habits. We hope this video provided useful and interesting information to you. If so, please like the video and share with people you believe may benefit from it. Did you know about resistant starch? Do you eat these types of foods? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and get to know when we post new videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. All the best!